Hi everyone, welcome back to Cotto Verdi. My name's Annette and today it's another beautiful day here in South Buckinghamshire in the UK. We've got gorgeous blue skies and we are planting up what we like to call the bottom bed. Now, if you've watched my videos from last year, it's where I had loads of gorgeous dahlias called Great Silence. And they're this beautiful sort of orangey pinky combination of colours and they're really vibrant and I've got some roses and peonies and some verbascum that I'd like to put into that bed to sort of complement those particular colours of dahlias. We don't leave our dahlias in the beds over winter so there's nothing in there at the moment and Richard's done a really good job of weeding. So what we're going to do today is plant up this bottom bed with some new plants and also we're going to move some plants from the patio bed here and move them down there. So I'm just going to talk you through what we're doing, how we're doing it and I'm going to describe the plants that I've chosen to go in these spaces. So we're going to dig the verbascum out of this patio bed here. Um, I find the problem with verbascum, this one's called Southern Charm, but the problem with verbascum for me is that I don't want them particularly anywhere where we're going to be looking at them directly, <laughs> like they're full frontage, which is kind of what this bed is here on our patio. This is by our seating area. And the problem with verbascum, which I'll get to, is that uh, they're called mullion, mullion, I think. And there's a particular moth called the mullion moth caterpillar um, that feeds on verbascum and they're voracious. And so I'm constantly having to pick these caterpillars off the verbascum. Um, what I'd like to do is just be able to leave the verbascum to fed for itself. So they're beautiful, beautiful colours. This verbascum southern charm has got this sort of pinky cafe au lait colouring to it. It's very trendy at the moment but it just goes with so many other things and I think it's going to go particularly well with some of the roses that I'm going to plant on the bottom bed which is why I'd like to move it and also it's not going to be quite so in your face on the bottom bed as it is on the patio. So I can let the moths or the caterpillars do their thing on the verbascum if that's what they want to do. So we're going to dig them up from here, move them to the bottom bed and then I'm going to show you uh, what we're planting in the bottom bed. So this rose here is called Spicy Parfuma. It's a hybrid tea. It grows 90 to 90 and it repeat flowers. The flowers are supposedly up to 12 centimetres across, which is enormous. And it's got really old fashioned sort of ruffly petals in a peachy apricot colour. Um, the centre starts off deep apricot and then it fades towards the outside uh, where it's paler. It also has a, a deep spicy fruity fragrance and I guess you know that's implied by its name. As we move along this is the coca loco that I've moved and I need to prune that. Now is a good time to prune our roses. And then this is a new coca loca here. So this is a Picea Edith. It's got gorgeous silvery blue fur. So next to it I've planted the three verbascum that we moved. I basically we moved two and I've divided one. So we've got three verbascum there. Um, th these are the southern charm. They're going to be absolutely gorgeous. And then over here I've planted a peony called Bouquet Perfect and it is a gorgeous 
uh, peony with really small bright barbie pink anemone like flowers and i'm so excited it's only slightly fragrant but i don't mind because it's going to be surrounded by roses and it's going to grow to 70 by 60 so about two foot by two foot it is a mid-season flowering peony when we're planting peonies it's really important not to bury them deep the herbaceous peonies do not like their buds to be too far below the soil level so when we mulch we avoid mulching right over the crown and then i planted two more of exactly the same peony bouquet perfect rose here is called a sweet honey rose and it's a floribunda so that means it's going to have clusters of flowers around it so sweet honey has got these marshmallowy powder puff soft pinky flowers with like honey tones to it maybe a little bit apricot and it repeats flower well and it was the rose of the year in 2020 it's got a light fruity scent In front of that I've planted three Physostegia which are obedient plants and the reason they're called obedient plants is because the flowers move with the sun which I think is so interesting. Anyway these are going to grow 80 by 60 and they're like full sun or part shade. They're really super undemanding. This variety is called Bouquet Rose and it's got these tapering spikes of soft pink foxglove like flowers and then the last rose over here is called Julia's Rose this one grows to 90 by 60 and it's a hybrid tea and it's got flowers that are described as sepia milky colored parchment papery with copper shades and apparently it's going to open out into really nice shapely rounded blooms i planted it next to a physocarpus called darts gold so what i'm going to do now is prune this coca loco so the reason i'm pruning this rose is because this rose um we dug up from a flower bed further down and so it was new to me last year and it's had a season of growing the all the other roses i planted today were new to me this year so this rose um, what I'm looking for is to take out any dead, damaged or diseased stems, which is quite a lot actually. And it's one of the reasons I moved it, because I think I had it planted in the wrong place. So I'm going to take this whole stem out here, because the whole thing is dead. And just cut it quite far down to the base. And then I'm going to cut these two stems to an outward facing bud. So there's an outward facing bud there. So I'm just going to cut it like that. Now I'm going to cut this one to an outward facing bud and I'm kind of cutting them by half. And I think I want it to go that way. So while Richard's mulching, I'm just going to go and prune all of these roses around here because we've got quite a few in this bed. This side of the bed is south facing and so it's just perfect for roses.
obviously there's quite a bit more filling in to do here but we're going to have loads of dahlias in this area and I'll also be planting some annuals that I'm growing from seed and they'll go in this area too but for now I think I'm going to leave this bed as it is with the roses the peonies we've got some evergreens we've got a gorgeous prunus here called prunus jacqueline which has got really soft pinky colored flowers so I'm really hoping that that will be in bloom in blossom uh, when the peonies are and the soft pink and the darker barbie pink um, of the bouquet perfect peonies hopefully they'll kind of complement each other that's what I'm hoping for um, and hopefully I'm also hoping that especially with the coco loco that's supposed to be an early bloomer that we'll have some of the coco loco coming out at the same time as the bouquet perfect is also in flower and that will be really wonderful too I really hope you've enjoyed watching us plant up these plants and maybe it's inspired you to buy some more gorgeous coloured roses or peonies. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.